Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome back once again to the Monster Sanctuary Beginner Challenge. Thank you for checking out the video. Hope you guys are having a lovely day. And uh, today we're going into the lower areas of the aqueducts below the Sun Palace, seeking to raise the tower up higher so we can go thwart the presumably alchemists who are threatening the eagle's sun and trying to keep us from and uh, trying to 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 affect the sun in some in some way. We're not quite sure. We haven't quite discovered yet. So we're here on the on, on the request of, of the caretaker, uh, who of course has his his koi. What does that do? I wonder. All right, that was a switch from before. That's right. That's fine. Leave, leave, leave that one alone. We already put, we, we we already pulled that lever. Up and over. There's a little bit of water down here, so you will find yourself walking a little slower, but it's not too bad. We can push that with our yaoi. Uh, we'll say um. One interesting comment I've gotten recently uh, was a request for a one uh, was a request for a, a full-on walkthrough type video, which I definitely have not done before. And I was wondering if that was something you guys might be interested in. Uh, the, the suggestion was put forward by. Let me quickly check my notes here. Uh, uh, it was by uh, Sorrentis Iliadis. So uh, if that's something. So th thank you for the suggestion. Uh, if, if, if that's something you guys uh, would perhaps be, perhaps be interested in, uh, do let me know. Uh, I've never really done walkthrough type content before, uh, so I guess instead of like like a, like a kind of a relaxed sort of a, a playthrough like I usually do, I suppose it was something more along the lines of like, okay, you know, at this point in the game you do this and you go there, and I recommend this for your team and etc. etc. Which I, I mean I could definitely try to do that. Can't jump that yet. That's fine. Um, I maybe need to organize my thoughts a bit more on what to do beforehand. But that's not necessarily impossible or a bad thing. So, curious to see what you guys think of that. Please do let me know if you're interested in, interested in, interested in that kind of uh, take on the series. Right, I remember this. This spot's important for later. This was where the one place that I missed was when I was doing the, the full map. Because there's a spot that I totally overlooked originally. I didn't, didn't know what it was. This little point there is a grapple point. And you cannot do anything with that until you until later on with, 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 with different monsters. And it triggers a room to open down here on your left. And that was the last room I was missing. You, you can actually see that it's... You, you can't even see that it's there, I don't think. Because there's no door in the side of the map. Which makes it very tricky. So it's easy, easy to miss and hard to remember, because it doesn't stand out and there's no marker on the map for it, which is kind of like a ooh thing. Can't make that. No. Need a, a fish for that one. And so far, for those of you who uh, have not been, uh, who, who, who have missed a few episodes, uh, we've been using our cat Zerker Kudzu Haiku, uh, our Manticorb uh, Rick Sommer, and our. Uh, Tanuki, uh, Mayhem, uh, on our main team for a bit, letting Valiant and, and, and uh, Magdalene have a break. Uh, we're turning our Toad here slowly into a, an absolute beast of a heal machine uh, that um, people in chat have, have been calling the, the Immortality Engine, because apparently what ha basically happens is it becomes, uh, once it's light shifted, uh, well, I'm not sure what, what its ability will be, but we'll see soon, uh, it can basically buff every turn heal every turn and debuff the enemy all at the same time. Just sit there and just pump out heals because it doesn't need to do anything else. I think it's pretty cool, actually. Definitely would be an interesting way to uh, buoy maybe a, a, a um, buoy a team. The other thing I'll, I'll have to do once we finally hit hit Horizon Beach is uh, somebody had asked for their name to be on a Silvero, I believe, and I, I need to d uh, double check my notes for who that was. But we're not there yet, so... Um, you know, I didn't have that right next to me for this one, but that's uh, but still something that I I I I I, you know, I, I try to I try to honor those those requests as much as I can. And so these guys, they have the the, the, the bad manners of not being weak to anything that that uh, that Rick has, which is kind of a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna have to burn the Ninky. It has a lot of regen, so we'll start with that. We will hand out some shielding leaves. Soon enough, Mayhem will be able to shield both himself and the team while doing uh, that, which will, which will be a big help. We can Fire Claws or Air Sickle the Ninky Nanka. Oh, the Fire Claws. It's a little... Oh, they're the same price, actually, mana-wise. That's fine. Nice crits there. 
And of course, whenever we exploit weaknesses with, uh, because of because of Rick, uh, we gain buffs. Whenever uh, Kudzu gain, uh, uh, scores a crit, they have a 50% 50, 50 chance to score more buffs that way too, which is just nice to have, frankly. Uh, this is the same damage, pretty much. Let's toss out the Soul Beam. Because it'll get Mayhem regeneration as well. Ooh, glory too. Nice. Very nice, actually. Uh, spread the burn around to help offset some of that damage. The 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 the, the blade widows are only weak to uh, to earth, so just make life a little tougher. Ooh, we got channel on Kudzu. That's amazing. Channel is always nice. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt too. Ah, yeah, no. Um. Hmm. You could not kill my, 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 my primary damage in this fight. That'd be nice. Just gonna heal you real quick there. Hey, you got psychic, psychic and regen off that. Not bad. I've decided that you guys are too dangerous to be here, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, freeze you. Just freeze does more damage for some reason. I'm not, not really sure why that is, but, you know, be that as it may, I suppose. Claws is neutral, but does a more damage, so it's fingers crossed. There we are. Start uh, negating some of that earth damage. There we go. Quick heal for mayhem. Much better. Now we're getting a little more, more and more stabilized. Fire claws. Mm, got crits on the uh, the uh, sidekick hits, but not on the main hits, which is kind of a shame. Slash. No more Ninky. Let's see, all these buffs on Kudzu are, are is, is very very exciting because uh, the the Cat Zerker gains more damage. Actually, the whole the whole party does actually because of because of the heroic party. But Kudzu gets even more uh, damage than that, uh, an, an, an extra percentage of damage per per buff because of heroism. So it goes from being a two percent uh, uh, damage increase per, uh, per 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 buff to a three percent. Which isn't, doesn't sound like a lot, but when you have, you know, what is that, two, four, six, eight, nine buffs on you at a time, you know, it, 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 it definitely adds up. And actually, uh, they have two, uh, um, Kudzu has, has, has three stacks of, of sorcery, so that's another 6% right there. So it adds up, honestly, faster, faster than, than uh, you might expect. But yeah, let's finish this off. Claws won't do it. Then uh, we'll let Mayhem finish it off. The Soul Beam. Three stars. Yeah, we 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 do take a while to kill stuff sometimes, but we get the job done all the same. Not enough mana regen to support level three leaves or beam. That's fine though. Honestly, a better master store is pretty tempting. So is uh, uh, attack Croc though. Yeah, mana proc though. Mana proc is probably better. After all, like as much, much, much as I would like to see mayhem dishing out tons of damage, I, it's like he's more of a support critter. Um, sheltered nature is a pretty good, a pretty good uh, thing to have. No one else in our party is is is, is a nature monster though. I don't think. No, uh, I think I think uh, uh, Paolo is, but. Um. Being automatically debuff uh, uh, resistant is nice too, but we'll see. More buffs is nice. Mana shielding is certainly nice. Copy shielding is uh, will make this a very very nice combination, especially when combined with shielding leaves. But right now though, let's grab the better heal. Well, it's a little, a little strong actually. I mean, defense focus then. What does that actually do for us? That's based off of healing. This is based off defense, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, 125 percent of defense, really. That's quite good, actually. Dang. So your full defense value plus a quarter more. Right now, that's 140. What's his gear like? Does he have any defense on him? Uh, only, 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 only the belt. Which I have, uh, have, I have, I have uh, an improvement to, actually. So I always gotta go back and check once in a while, you know? You never, you never know the things you find sometimes. Bracelet 2 gives him more defense as well. Just, just for like, I mean, it, it, it does hurt his mana regen a little bit, 
but uh, I mean, we're not currently using it anyway. Like, like all, all, all we need is, well, no, 132. I, I guess, but we do have access to channel, so via somebody. No, we don't actually. Well, okay, fair enough then, I guess. That's kind of a worry. We usually come by it, though, at some point, but I guess it is a little dicey. Yeah, but perhaps I'll put that back just, just for the moment then. I could change the health one, maybe, to more uh, defense and mana regen. No, because I already have all the defense. Uh, that's, that's what the, the, the bracelet is. Uh, mana regen. Feather gets a crit. Medallion is defense, crit, and mana regen. That's not bad. Well, crit damage, actually. It's more defense, which is kind of what I wanted. Having the crit damage raised so high is kind of a, kind of ironic. I mean, it, it, he's, he's not going to crit very much, but when he does, it's, it's going to hurt. Let's go ahead and give him a defense focus then. Why not? There. 201 defense. It's not, not, it's not a huge difference, but it's nice. It is a shame that... The, it is kind of a shame that he gets um, defense focus, but doesn't have uh, any any defense procs. Bit of, bit of a mismatch there, but it, it happens. As for you, I honestly don't feel like the Mana Corp needs the sorcery buff. Like, it, it gains sorcery and channel, which is quite nice, I'll grant you that much. But I never seem to find myself using it, because between uh, Sorcerer and Multi-Sorcery and um, Exploit Party over here, you, you just generate in your own buffs, pretty much, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't really feel necessary. Um... Magic proc is certainly tempting. 35% of your magic value becomes an extra hit, which is pretty good. Mana proc is probably better, though. That's 50%. So even though our mana is lower than our magic, it's a much larger... It's, it's a significantly larger percentage. So that'd be, what, 100 and 117 damage right there? As opposed to... Roughly a third of 260. Uh, 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 I don't know, 80, 90 maybe? So, I think uh, Mana Proc wins that particular contest. But Hex is also a contender because, you know, debuffing is good. It's only 7.5% chance to apply, though, not a guarantee, which kind of sucks. But we are doing multi hit moves and not single touch. And, 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 like, because, like, the, the um, Air of Effect spells only hit, like, once or twice, so it's kind of a low chance. But with these, it's like 6, 6, 7, 8, you know? So. It adds up. It's better for uh, Cascade as well. So we'll go with uh, Mana Proc for now. We'll grab the rest in a bit. Shouldn't be a problem. There's our switch, I believe. Not too shabby. We could probably have tied this up pretty okay in the last one as well, but we'd already been recording for like an hour or so, and I didn't want to make it go on for too long. Plus, there's the added fun of this over here. If I can remember how to trigger it. Maybe, maybe, perhaps fire, actually. There we are. The Conco. Spirit Weasel. This thing is kind of a beast, honestly. Does fire and air damage, and it's only weak to earth, which I kind of have problems with. I guess, I guess, as far as resisting goes, we're okay. I might want to change to Kermit, though. Because, like, Rick is rather vulnerable to this thing. Valiant could be good, too, actually. Uh, yeah, let's, we'll try this, then. Why don't we temper... Oops, sorry, no, I'm doing this wrong. Oops. You... Let's bring um, Burn back into it. I mean, it resists fire, though, which is kind of a shame. 
We can always swap Maglin out, though, for uh, Kermit or Mayhem after the fact. Let's, let's, let's try that. Plus, uh, uh, sustain is not a bad way to start a fight either, but... There we go. Burn. Slime. Right, it gets buffs. Whenever it dodges, it gets buffs. I forgot about that one. I dodges a lot, worth noting. Okay, we're gonna switch. Kermit is weak to fire. This is a bit of a dicey proposition, but then again, Mayhem's sometimes sometimes weak to wind, and Rick is sometimes weak is, is weak to physical. So, not really a host of awesome options there at the moment. But it's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, healing wave. Because Valiant has the same thing that. Um, Kermit does. They, 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 they can both heal and, and and debuff at the same time. Ow. Okay, we're gonna have to go full on defense then, I think. If we can hack it. Um, we're definitely not gonna get a very high score on this, that's for sure, though. That does have so much damage. Goodness me. It's not it's, it isn't, it isn't even going to give us the chance to fight it. Sure, yeah, I can't multi poison yet. That'd be very helpful right now. Yeah, that's not going to work real, 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 real well for us, is it? There we go, healing wave, healing buffs. That's going to help a little bit, hopefully. Ooh, that hurts. It really does. We're gonna have shielding now, so it's okay. Um, double channel is not necessarily a bad thing. Barrier would be a nice buff to have, but we're, we're focused on, focus on shielding for now. Like I said, we're not gonna do any kind of glamorous win on this fight. As long as we can hang in there and just last it to death, we win, so. Is it ideal? No. Is it gonna work? Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully, anyway. Three buffs for us, three buffs for him. He's triple armor break, which is quite nice. Magdalena's shielding is also being uh, pretty darn helpful as well, I gotta say. Double channel, very nice. Okay, we don't have multi poison yet. Or multi. Wait, no, wait, no. Does it even have burn? Yeah, it, it does have burn. Okay, cool. Making sure. Oh, that was dummy. That was the wrong button entirely. What do that for?
Shield. Yeah, we're 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 a, a terrible score on this match. I said, like I said, we'll we'll, we'll win, but we're, it's not going to be pretty. I didn't even notice what, I didn't even notice what level this thing was. It might explain why it's so much more powerful than we are. Hang on. 24? No, not really. It's not the same level. Kind of crazy. Last little bit. Top off our health and slime attack. Like a two star, probably. Watch 13 turns, three really. 13.6 turns. We had to just scrape it down a little bit at a time. That was ugly. I'll have to, to refight that one later. Hey, we're a ranger now. That's cool. What well, we'd probably do differently is I'd just probably start off with Magdalena, Valiant, and, and Kermit, and then just do that strategy from the start. We wasted a few turns switching around, trying to trying to like like uh, attack it head on, and it just doesn't work. Not with this team anyway, so that would be my recommendation. Uh oh, this fish is gone. Spectral keeper, I fear that I, I've gotten ahead of myself. As soon as the tower raised the top, I climbed it, climbed it in great haste. There was a masked man who called himself Zosimos. We fought. He defeated me and my monsters, but it was entirely my own fault. I wasn't thinking clearly. After the fight, he took my koi with him. I don't know how. He's up on the platform right underneath the eagle's sun, but I fear that it is already too late. Already too late? What do you mean? Oh, speak to me, man. Speak to me. Oh, that's it? Okay. Well, then let's get up there, then. Seems this requires our expertise immediately. Hello, Zosi. Ooh, and he's changed the fish, too. It's dark shifted now. There you are, Keeper. I knew you'd get up here. I need to find a different voice of these guys. There you are, Keeper. Nah, that's the same thing. Um, there you are, Keeper. I knew you'd get up here eventually. That's right. I've been watching you wander around the sun palace from up here. Took you long enough, oi. All your reference are worthless. You're too late to prevent the shifting. We know who you are, Alchemist. What are you, what are you doing to the Son of the Sun Palace? So you have a Spectral Familiar? I don't care if you're a Spectral Keeper, you're a Keeper all the same. You don't know how much we despise your order, do you? But to answer your pet's question, I have induced a process within the Sun that is called shifting. Behold the power of Zosimos of the Ancient Order of Alchemists. Uh-oh. It's turning blue. No, it's turning purple. It's rain man. Hallelujah. No, it's not doing that yet. But the sun? What, what did you do to it? I told you that your efforts were worthless. The sun has shifted and the entirety of the sanctuary will be soon succumb to darkness. But maybe I could rob you of one of your monsters as well. I'd challenge you to a duel, Keeper. We have to accept this challenge. It might be the only way to save the sanctuary. Well, let's do it. He's got a mad eye. And a guru. And a grummy. Come on, dude. That's just mean. Fine. He's weak to magic. I got magic. I can do that. Let's dance. In the pale moonlight. Alright. So it counts as a duel. We really don't want to get ourselves caught out too badly here. Uh, magic, of course, does less damage to, 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 to mad eyes. Having the gruel on the field just makes me unnervous. It makes me unhappy in general. The mad eyes gotta go first. I think... No. Just, just, just no. Um... Start with that. I can't follow up as I'd like with this. We can you, you, you can use Soul Beam though. There we go. Not 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 a, not a bad start. Hopefully they don't totally just junk all over uh, Kudzu. Right? They do have age. Actually, I think this, I think I think they all have age or can have age. Yeah. Kudzu's down already. Ugh, it sucks. I'm unhappy about that. Fine. Um. 
You want magic here? I'll bring out the uh, Magdalena, and we will get our burn on. We burn down, which I believe we have now, if I'm remembering correctly. That should do some pretty tremendous damage in 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 the long run, so that should be fine. You're gonna get rid of some of these debuffs because I just don't like them. And then we're gonna nix this guy. Right, the Kame is already out. The well, Gurulu's got to go next because it, 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 it can tear our buffs off. And ow, oh my goodness, there goes my burn down. Jeez Louise. Okay, fine. Immortality Engine it is then. We're going to... Healing Wave. We can't Purify yet, but it can buff, which is a nice counteracting point for the uh, Gurulu. Look, killing the girl is going to be a bit of a chore now, actually. No way, Whirlwind. That'll help a little bit. Ooh, Heavy Punch. Heavy Punch is a problem. Not a fan of that one. We'll leave the healing up to uh, Kermit here for a minute or two. Also, we agree once again that this music is amazing. I'm pretty sure the, I, I, I think the Alchemist music really is my favorite out of the whole out of the whole soundtrack. It's a, it's it's a, it's a pretty good soundtrack, but this one is like it's just got such a, a punch to it, you know. We're gonna we're gonna let the let Mayhem help with healing this turn. Get rid of some of these debuffs. Down. That's very good. Shield cast is fine. We can deal with that. That does way less damage all of a sudden. All right. Well, that's fair enough. Um, get rid of that guy. I mean, all of these guys are annoying, but Kermit's got five age stacks, so he's yeah, that's where we're starting. Because yep. Physical damage is currently not being blocked, so oh, I should I should just you should have just kept using um uh, should have just kept using Master Store, frankly. Just so poison, burnt, and etc. Yeah, okay. Get rid of some of that junk. Get rid of some of this junk. Especially when I burn damage around a little bit, it's not gonna get the job done. But it'll at least start chipping away at the Kame while while, while, while we focus on uh, the the, the Grimmy. Tidal wave move seems scarier than I, I, I don't know. Like it just about wiped out Mag, uh, Magdalena. Could have been a talent, maybe boosting the damage. It's fully possible. I don't have you help actually. Oh, you got poison. Nice. A little bit of an unexpected bonus there. Grummy. Koi will come in. Koi is not too bad. It is a good support monster, but not to the point that the, the Gruul or Grummy can be, I don't think.
Um, not too many debuffs left on us. We're probably fine to keep on going as we are. Let's go ahead and finish off the Kame. Good against the snow, actually. Uh, uh Voltus, too, actually. Mm. I'm gonna chill it first, though, just to kind of bring down a little bit of its um, ability to generate mana. The infinity buff has surfaced. Not a bad thing, really. Whirlwind. Good word though. I don't know. I'm sure why it popped in my head there. It's burst, not romp. I don't know why I thought bubble romp. Bubble romp sounds like an interesting physical move though. We're all, it seems our team is, is completely buffed. We, we can't get any more buff than we currently are. So that's good. Goodbye. And we got our first Sanctuary token as well. Ugh, you have defeated me. You deserve my respect for that, Keeper. You may have this monster back that I took from the other Keeper who challenged me. But still it does nothing to stop the shifting. Farewell, Keeper. Perhaps we'll see each other again. And as usual, we just let him go for no particular reason, which I'm still really not, not sure why we do that for. Uh, the sun is still changed. What should we do now? It is as I had feared. The shifting cannot be stopped. What will happen now? The sun, as well as the entire sun palace, will turn dark. That is only the beginning. All of the monsters that live in the wilds of the entire sanctuary will be affected by this cataclysm. Their nature will shift towards the darkness. They will become more aggressive and more dangerous. The sanctuary, as we know it, may change forever. Oh. oh what's that? Your Koi just moved towards us. Koi, despite, despite everything, I feel glad that we, are, that we are reunited. It feels so good. Koi, but it seems you have shifted towards the darkness too. Never mind. I am sure that you were forced to shift. You are still the same friend to me as you always were. Hmm. Where, where are you going, Koi? It's like peace out, man. I got this. He's moving toward the sun. Why? Koi. And the sun is back to normal. Oh no, it's brighter even. Maybe. The sun has returned to its normal state. What happened to your Koi? I fear that my Koi has sacrificed itself. For us. For the entire sanctuary. Perhaps it was his act of selflessness that returned the sun to its original state. But I can tell the sun is still shifted in a way. It's, not, it's neither darker nor lighter, but I can still feel a difference. We might still encounter some shifted monsters across the sanctuary. If my assumption is correct, Koi's sacrifice has returned the sun to a balanced state. Part of a balanced breakfast. Koi flakes. Fishy cereal. I don't know. That sounds that sounds kind of nasty, honestly. Like it's, it sounds like fish food, but but like but like for 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 for, uh, for people. That means you might encounter some dark shifted monsters, but also that there could be some light shifted ones as well. Oh, and here come the eggs. Look at that. I mean, came out of the sun. It's two eggs of the same kind. It's a miracle. The circle of life has begun anew. Because these eggs are koi eggs. You should take one of them. You deserve it. Tain Koi Egg. I also want to give you another reward. You see, there's another way to shift a monster. This shift stone can be used to either light shift or dark shift a monster. I, I like how he's talking like the sun is, is ruined and everything is terrible and all the dark shift monsters are going to be awful. He's like, oh, by the way, here's this rock in my pocket that can totally just like do the same thing on a smaller scale. And that's, that, that's fine. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> Use it as you will. They've seen today, even a dark shifted monster can be good. 
If you, treat it, if you treat it with love and respect. See, now he's like, no, it's fine. Either way, a shifted monster becomes more powerful. Only in different ways, depending on if you light shift or dark shift it. These shift stones are very, very rare, but you might find more of them across the sanctuary. Again, I thank you for your help. You just saved the sanctuary from a great cataclysm. Farewell, farewell, special keeper. I will say that's one thing that we might actually find is that we have fewer shift stones, at least initially, because a lot of them you get from exploring around in, in like the places we might we may not be able to access, because we're only going through the the uh, the uh, the necessary gateways, so it's gonna be a little bit tighter. The the alchemist had another one of those sanctuary tokens. Maybe the caretaker or the oracle know where to find the other ones. Ah, fair point. But first, who do we even consider first for shifting? What box one here? On. Skill potion, strawberry. This we could just give skill potions to all of our main guys. Like it's a, it's a safe bet. Like Kermit's not going anywhere. You know, there's absolutely no like we can't replace him. So we may as well give it to him just off the bat. The rest of these guys, I guess, less so. But it's like I, I suppose the, the 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 most practical thing to do, I, I guess. Would be to go around to all the places we got these guys in the first place and find shifted variants of their forms to begin with. That way, I guess we would, would be the most cost-effective way to do it. But then we have a bunch of level 20s because it'll be a few levels lower than our current guys, which kind of sucks. But let's at least see what our options are. So light shifted uh, uh, Kudzu gets life link when landing a crit, heal the whole party for 20% of the damage dealt. Kudzu does crit quite a bit. That would make a pretty decent healer. Also paired with the fact that. Um, Kudzu has access to Heal Master, or Heal Master, which, which, which would improve it, improve that amount by 20%. Would make Auto Heal a little bit superfluous, which I don't necessarily mind. Um, worth noting that it also cranks uh, its uh, uh, magic stat up quite a bit, making Life Link, uh, uh, sorry, um, Auto Heal more, more uh, viable in the first place. Gets a bit more mana and some more health as well, so a little, 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 little harder to kill. But then Dark Shift has Assault Shield, which shields itself by 25% of the damage dealt to enemies by critical hits. So, more self-centered. Um, has a much better mana stat, which is honestly very tempting in itself. Cranks the attack up a little bit more. Still, still gets more magic, but not as much. And a slight bump to defense, but no health bump. So, basically able to sustain offense more effectively. Does more damage. Uh, still better at using auto heal, in all fairness. So, still some group support, but... Instead of like a group healing ability, you have a single a self shielding ability. But considering we have a fair number of pretty respectable healers on the team already, I don't think we necessarily need the light shift. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's a good ability, but if we're if we're, if, if if we're gonna be doing raw damage, the dark shift makes more sense. Uh, what about Rick? Mana donor. Whenever, whenever another monster on the party would, would spend mana, twenty five percent of the needed mana is taken from this monster instead. That alone isn't that great the the um the elder gel has the same ability what makes that kind of tempting is 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 these new abilities here the shield when consuming or losing mana shield self by three by three times that amount so every time anybody on your team spends mana rick uh, the the, the mantic orb would, would would give over some of its own mana and would gain shielding as a result of that so that's kind of kind of a nice synergy I don't know if that's worth, like, worth it on its own. Because its other option is, is is Critical Apex. The crit chance of, of every consecutive hit is increased by 3%. So it's it's Cascade, but instead of damage, it's, it's it's crits. So it just keep you know keeps getting steadily more critically powerful. It also has a higher defense rating, higher magic rating, but less health and less mana. But, this, but then again, it, I mean, it's, it's already got a lot of mana. That's just a tremendous amount of mana right there. It, make, it, make, it, makes, it makes it harder to kill in general. Uh, it gives it a good chunk more health. And even more mana than it already had, and you know it's it's pretty cool. But um, I will say that that, that, that works fairly well with uh, with uh, mana proc as well. Mayhem uh, gets curse 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 resistance. Um, it gains a, an additional natural resistance against debuffs, so just becomes able to take half damage from 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 debuffs permanently. Which, considering the Tanaki already has anti curse, which makes the entire party twenty percent uh, more resistant to debuffs. Um, is kind of just like, hi! You know, the Tanaki basically just laughs at debuffs now, which is interesting, but, I mean, considering it already has some measure against it, it's not as compelling. And Dark Instinct, which just ups your damage by, by, by 15%, and basically puts your damage into this, like, like it, it takes a fairly so-so 
offensive monster and just gives it four more attack in both areas. It's like, here, you wanted to do more damage? We got you. And you just do 15%, and, and on top of those humongous stats, you, you do 15% more damage. And considering that, like, the Tanaki is not exactly hurting for defense or health to begin with, a slight bump to it is just, is nice. You know, that's, that's actually not bad. Um, Valiant can get heal charging. All healing skills give the monster a, a, a charge stack uh, for each heal. Or Curse Chain, <coughs> which lets you, um, uh, which gives you a 40% chance to spread any debuff th that, that you inflict to, to, to other enemies as well. Of course, this is, this is, this is a more tanky, shifted uh, stats uh, spread. And this, of course, is more offensive. A fair bit more, actually. Interesting that this one gives you a bit more attack. I don't know why it does that. It doesn't, I mean... I don't think the Blob even has any. I don't think Valiant even has any real ability to do physical damage. Like, anywhere in this mess. So it's odd to me. But it's like, here, do some physical damage. Like, why? I, I, don't think I, I, I don't think that I can. Magic, magic, magic. Magic, magic, magic. You know? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, Magdalena... Light Instinct, which is basically the exact same thing as Dark Instinct, but, 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 but it reduces the damage you take, so the damage you deal. Also, I'm not exactly thrilled with the color. That's a little, it's just very, very, I don't know, looks, looks, looks a bit like, I don't know. Anyway, Dark Shift, of course, has Assault Shield as well, which is the same thing that, uh, that, the, Kudzu, that Kudzu has. But Magdalena definitely is not as good of a crit monster, at least not as we have it set up now. She could become it, in theory. Um, but I will say this one, uh, it, it does give... A decent defense bonus. And not as much offense as, you, as you'd think. And again, it gives you physical attack, which is weird. Honestly, like, considering the shielding habits I usually have, it, honestly, I think, I think Light Shift makes more sense for the uh, the, uh, the the pillar. But Kermit is the one I'm most curious about, so I'll get to him at last, actually. I think I'll, I'll show him in a minute there. The Vera can get Holy Presence. Every buff action of an ally applies one additional random buff. That's a lot of buffs, especially on the Vero. Vero is always pumping out buffs. Critical Apex is the same one, of course, that the um, that the Mana Corp has, that that that, uh, that, uh, that uh, Rick has. It's just Cascade for crits. Paolo gets Utopia. Every monster in the party gains three charge stacks every turn, which is nice for a charge team. Shadow Proc, uh, each, each stack triggers an additional hit equal to 60% of attack or magic value, depending on, on what move you use. And it also ups his attack, significantly ups his defense, so it gives him more mana, too. It's not bad. Uh, Brega, our Yaoi, and of course can go Eternal Heart. We've 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 done Yaoi in a, in a previous team, so this one th this one uh, this one was was kind of an, an interesting one for me. Dark Shift gets you more offense and overheal, so whenever you're healed above above max health, you get half of that amount into a shield, which is quite nice. But this one increases the Yaoi's health and mana by twelve percent, and the Yaoi has tremendous amounts of health, and it gets health stacks and healing based off of health. And and the whole the whole bit. So that's that's definitely tempting as well. And for Necromancus, uh, has the same abilities as the Mega Pillar does, but this one uh, is definitely more crit focused. So I might be focused. Uh, I, I might be tempted into trying Assault Shield on this one. But then again, the Light Instinct is just just a nice thing to have. Like like taking just less damage across the board, not a bad thing. But this one's kind of tempting itself, honestly. But let's check out uh, Kermit. Um, light shift is heal charging. Oh, okay, so the the the, uh, the 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 same thing as uh, Valian. And dark shift gets mana potential, reduces damage taken and increases damage dealt by one percent for every twenty current mana. See, like that's the same one that um, what's this called? Uh, the uh, the uh, Vertrog has the the deity. <coughs> I will say this one gets you a, a bit more offense and a bit of defense. This one gets you. A bit of offense, and honestly, like the, the this the stat boosts for this one are, are are not very very large, because most of your familiars are very uh, well rounded, so it doesn't really change that much. It just takes like an extra like seriously, it's it uh, let's see one uh, two four seven two four yeah. So actually, this gets seven more points. This gets six. So like I guess dark shifted wins as far as like like the like the, the benefit. It gets you know it's got three. Three boosts of two and one boost of one. This has four boosts of one and one boost of two. But I will say that uh, the free charge stacking is quite nice. I don't know if it can actually. Let's see. Um, some monsters have a skill that lets them apply 
charge stacks to healing actions. I don't think this is one of them, though. No, it's not. I mean, generating all that charge does let you, you know, lash out every once in a while for a lot of damage. Because if, if you're sitting there, if you're just sitting there pumping out heals, then uh, sooner or later you're gonna you're gonna want to smack something, and it's gonna do a lot of damage when you do. Mystifies quite good. There, uh, the chance the chance to gain to gain buffs whenever debuffing. It's quite the chain of events there. Um. I mean, that definitely, it definitely is interesting. <laughs> we could turn this into a, in, into a, a chain, though. When, when when we heal, we buff. When we buff, we heal. When we heal, we shield. I can definitely see why why this becomes like the 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 immortality circuit. That's kind of crazy. Okay, all right. I can I can I can see my way through 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 that. I still don't know which monster I want to I want to shift first though. Well, I kind of do actually. It may not be like the super smart choice, but it is the one I think I, it is the one I think I want to do though. Which do you heal now anyway? Two hundred plus half your magic. Eh. Still three hundred or so. Well, three 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 ninety. It's not bad. And then and then a fifth of that becomes shielding with that. Eh. Let's go with this one. Because like you heal and then it, and then it buffs and then, and then you heal some more and yeah that this, this gives, gives you some 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 immediate payoff. I'm thinking I'm thinking Kudzu honestly, but then again we we can like like, like, like I said like, I can go find light shifted equivalents or or, dark, or, or like 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 uh, shifted shifted equivalents of these guys. So I guess we'll start off with, with our Toad because he is the one guy we can't actually shift manually or like like uh, we we can't go find a new one of if we want to. Um, we'll definitely try. I, I, I've been recommended six ways a Sunday to try out the light shift, so we'll go for it. We'll give it a whirl. Kermit, become pink Kermit. Or kind of orange, actually. No, he's more of an orange, I suppose. Kind of like an orange. A peach. Peachy Kermit. There you go. Ooh, the green is still there for a minute. The effect is still kind of, you know, you know, reload there. No, it's still green. Why is it still green? That doesn't seem right. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna... There we go. Sorry, his, his, his ghost flames hadn't quite gone out there. <laughs> that was, uh, interesting. Whee. Nothing? Uh, well, fair enough. Come along, Peach Toad. But nice. So, we've finished the Sun Palace for now. There's an area down there, of course, we can't, we can't, we can't get through because we couldn't swim. We do have the Koi now, though, and the Koi does count as a necessary monster to have for Horizon Beach. There's also some, also I also have to figure out, uh, also have to, have to swing by. Um, oh, hello, dude. I, I have to swing by uh, the dungeon and get a Crackle Knight egg, which I might already have, actually. Do I? Uh, no. Although I think actually I think I think the God Morlock has lightning as well. Because we need lightning and fire to get through that door. No, lightning and earth, which the brute has, I think. So that's fine. To get through that, that like that like multi-element door to get into um, Horizon Beach. So let me go ahead and hatch those real quick. I'll hatch the koi, and um, well, I guess I'll I guess I'll, I'll I'll need names for these guys too, won't I? So if, if anybody out there uh, wants their name on some of these monsters, we can, I can't use them in battle. But they are uh, going to be useful for getting us through some some uh, some doors. I don't think I need fire. No, I have fire covered. So uh, warlock is lightning, and the brute I think has poison. I'm fairly certain. If it doesn't, I'm fairly sure. Uh, I guess one of these guys probably does. But I'm, I think, I'm pretty sure the brute does. Let's have a look. See. Uh, yeah, toxic. Yeah, toxic slam. Lightning bolt and so there we go. So those three we'll have to keep on us just for just for just for like utility's sake. So if anybody in chat, uh, or in chat, sorry, I'm just, I'm used to streaming. If anybody watching uh, would like to have their name on our Vero, which I guess someone did ask for for the Silvero, so I guess it would be them. Uh, remind me, please, 
Uh, I, I, I can go find the original comment, which is fine, but just, just in, if, you, if you don't mind, just make it easier for me. Uh, remind me who wanted the Silvero. And then, of course, we have uh, the Koi, Warlock, and Brute as well, if you want to be on, like, the the, the HM team, I guess. Uh, what, what, what do you say, dude? Hello again, Keeper. How have you been doing since we last met? Well, it's been about ten minutes, but I've discovered, uh, as you can see, my frog is now orange. You know, a Koi is able to carry a fully grown person through water. You should try it out with your own Koi. Perhaps you might even find some new places in the sanctuary thanks to thanks to thanks to this ability. Hmm. You're interested in, in, in sanctuary tokens? I'm afraid I don't know much about them. You've already found one in Snowy Peaks and one here in Sun Palace. The next one should be in Horizon Beach, it's at the eastern border of the sanctuary, beyond the ancient woods. Your coin should be able to help, should be able to help 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 you reach it. And there you go. The official the the, the official tie-in. Uh, official. It's a koi. Ha! Uh, unintentional pun. I like it. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna swing by the sanctuary real quick, actually, before I get before I get any any more into this, because I need to drop off all these darn monsters. Hello, rewards. It is nice to come back and find a bunch of things waiting for us. Kame can't use it. Can't use it. Can't use it. Can't use it. Nope. It is kind of cool seeing like a like a like a, almost like 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 a, like a, like a, like a, like a Pokédex here almost. I might need to keep the Orum Tail. There are some places you need to ride across occasionally. I'll keep that just in case. But for the rest of you, be gone. I, I, I do be careful though not to accidentally give away my steam golem, because that's one of them I, I can't easily get. I cannot easily replace her at 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 at, 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 at this time. Keep these four for now. I can get uh, sh shifted versions of the blob and uh, of the blob, but I, I can't technically get any more monks or golems because they're they're like the, the places where, where, where I would have to fight them are technically not within our our beginner area, which voids my ability to collect eggs from them that I can actually use. So that's what I'm that, that, that's that's what, what what we decided. And I'm, I'm going to stick to it. So between episodes, you guys, I'm, I'm going to swing by and grab a, crack, uh, a crackle knight. No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need you now, do I? No, I don't. Never mind. Hey, scrap that. I'm gonna look around here for some shifted variants of our monster buddies. See if I can come up with a few new uh, and improved looks for our for for our our team. I have monster bells to help with that. I can respawn people. So that's my goal. But uh, we've officially officially entered into the shifted uh, realm of monsters, which means a whole bunch of new strategy options and such that I'm quite excited for. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you for checking out the video. It's been super amazing seeing such a such a, a, a loyal and and a supportive community forming around these videos and such. And I really hope you guys enjoy the content and just being here on the channel in general. Some of you guys have dropped by stream as well, like Mayhem, of course, drops drops by pretty pretty, pretty fairly regularly. Um, I saw Necromancus drop in and a few others as well. So. Thank you so much to all of you, and uh, I hope to see you guys either on stream or on our next video. So please take care of yourselves, because you're worth it. Stay monstrous, and for now, a Monster Man out.